recently apple released as 18.2 and with this update apple actually bought lots of new features and also a new setting just now for some of the setting is good and for other it's not so good so in this video i'll share some of the settings you change after updating to as 18.2 immediately okay so for some of the setting it adapted with better life uh, some of the setting it adapted with apple intelligent and for the some of the setting it adapted to do with privacy and security so now let's jump with the video for the first setting it is actually with apple intelligent and also chat gbt so for this you can open up your setting then you're gonna go down actually for an apple intelligence then after that you're gonna go until you find extension and then you're gonna tap on uh, chat gbt over here for the each chat gbt make sure you tap setups and this is everything that can do you're gonna click on next then you're gonna click on enable then you're gonna see for the each chat gbt so make sure that is on so after you do that it's gonna be turned on automatically but things in this bottom confirm chat gbt request make sure you actually turn this off so if you have this on anytime you can eat chat gbt is gonna uh uh, ask for, for to like a confirm it if it can eat chat GPT or not. So make sure you turn this off. So with this, it is gonna eat chat GPT. Show me how to make tiramisu cake using chat GPT. So in the top, you're gonna see it's working with chat GPT. And then well, there you go. And and, uh, and now it's gonna give you all the ingredients you need. So and the in the bottom is gonna say it is actually chat GPT. How cool is that? For the next setting, it is also under Apple Intelligent and Siri. But here, for the first one, it's going to be called Hang Up. If you actually turn this on anytime, if you are on a call and then if you hang up, you can just uh, ask Siri and then it's, it's, it can do it for you. Or type to Siri. So you can say Siri or Hey Siri. You can press the button and also you can, you can type as well. So if you just in the bottom, if you just double tap on it, 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 it actually gonna do type to Siri as well. So so let's say anytime if you're outside and then if there's a lot of noise, you're gonna de 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 double tap on a dock and then after that it's gonna uh, bring the type to Siri. Over here there's a, a announce call for form I, I have that off and a notification I also have this off. Then messaging with Siri if you want you can do automatic okay, send message using that. But here so so these are actually pretty good. So for the uh, suggestion if you want you can have this off. Uh, uh, you can have this like on or off so uh, for me i'm actually have this off uh, this too uh, show in apply library that's fine allow notification that's fine show sharing there that's fine but uh, other stuff it's not it's not that important but here so this is going to be all the app that i can actually use apple intelligent and also a c app search there's not all the apps doesn't uh, support everything yet so with the next update with ios 18.3 it's going to support uh, or like money update for the next setting it is actually under battery and then it's going to be under charging for the first one you're going to see is a new a charge limit if your device is set 100 percent make sure you, you actually don't use that if you charge any device it doesn't matter if it's an iphone or it's a laptop or like a, any device even an iphone if you charge your device to 100 percent it actually damage your battery health so for me i actually set to 90 percent or if you if you want to be more safe you can do 80 or 85 but things i think 90 is a, a good pack for the clean energy charging we should turn that off and then over here if you just tap on battery health you're gonna see now you're gonna get more information so for me as you can see because it's a, a recent for i actually got a few months ago so that's it for the battery is still 100 percent and then for me i actually have the ice 18 like beta from the start so that is why my charge limit did not my battery health did not go down so that's why i highly recommend this like uh, i'm telling you guys don't charge your device 95 or 100 percent that is actually pretty bad for the next setting is actually bringing the volume control back to your uh, lock screen so uh, for the volume now it's gonna be this uh, uh, but things you actually gonna see it uh, for the volume control for this you can open up a setting then you're gonna tap on accessibility that you're gonna go down to find audio and visual then you're gonna see all also a uh, volume control make sure it's under on after that if you just go, uh, go back to your, your lock screen and after that if you just go back to your lock screen you're gonna see the new, new, new button right here so this is gonna be the volume control and now you can actually control the volume okay so there's two more setting under audio and visual that is also important for the first one is the uh, uh, add a, a voice isolation so anytime if you're making a call or, or anytime if you're sending a text with this on is gonna actually uh, remove the background noise so anytime if you're sending a vo voice memo this is actually pretty, pretty important so make sure you turn that on for the next one it is not that important it's, it's gonna depend on you so you know anytime if you turn on the mac there's a, a sound it makes if you want you can go to the setting and turn it off so this is the same thing for the iphone if you want you can turn this on anytime if you power on or off the device it's gonna make it you know a sound for the next setting is also under audio and visual and it's called the headphone accommodation so if you have this on it's gonna make your sound so much better if you're using any headphones so let's say if you're using airpods it's gonna make them sound better but it doesn't matter if you're using headphones or not if you're even using a, like a, a like the, the what your headphone is gonna make your sound better as well so with this on there's a couple of options so there's a balanced tone there's a vocal range there's a brightness for the uh, for the 
sound you can make a slide you can make a model or, or you can make a song so this is going to make a song um, look better so it's going to apply with the iphone and also it's going to apply with the media as well but the next setting is actually pretty cool you can actually control the iphone by using your eyes so for this you can open up your setting then you can tap on accessibility then after that you can tap on i, I uh, attacking so this is going to allow you to control your whole device by, uh, by using your eyes and so for this you have to just turn this on and then you have to just say follow this dot so you have to just uh, follow this dot you have to just say go through this and after that you can actually uh, control your phone so for me uh, for, for this i'm actually going to turn this off but things if you want you can actually tear this out for, for the next one is actually for voice control so it's the same thing as eye control so you can control your whole device by using your voice if you want you can actually uh, on the, you can turn this on as well so let's see what it does you can actually control your whole phone by, by using your voice so it's just is the similar thing to your eyes so if you want you can you can actually type both of them okay for the next setting is going to be under sounds and haptic after that you're going to go down and then you're going to uh, get a new option it's going to have the uh, volume limit you know, tap on that over here make sure for the limit maximum volume make sure you turn that on over here for the volume set to 90 is actually bad for years so for me if you want to do i recommend do 50 or 60 i think that is really good then also if you go back you're gonna get a couple of options just know just know all of these are not new these are pretty old but if you don't have them make sure you change it for the keyboard feedback for me i do like the haptic but i don't like the sound so i'm gonna turn that off and for the lock sound if you want you can turn that off on but things for the system haptic i actually like haptic so uh, that is the only reason for for me that that is on okay for the next setting is actually under privacy and security just not over here there's a tons of them so for the first one is going to be all the analytics and improvement for me i actually have them off like uh, like for the most of them except for that one make sure you turn all of this off just not all these are not necessary so make sure you turn all of them off for the next is going to be Apple Intelligent report. So for me, I actually have this on with this. I can actually see the uh, report for the Apple Intelligent. If you want for the report duration, you can do 15 minutes, you can do 7 minutes, or you can do off. So for me, I actually like to do 15 uh, uh, minutes. Or I'll do seven days as well. If it is seven days, it's gonna take a, a more space on your phone, so that's why I, I recommend doing 15 minutes. And then for the uh, in the bottom two, that is actually pretty, pretty important. It's gonna be the stolen device protection. So for the stolen device protection, anytime if you're uh, if you're going outside and someone like a, a, a take a device and then they had to go to the Apple ID and change it, they had to open and. Uh, they had to change the password so they cannot do it because of this it's going to take a whole hour uh, for them and after that they can change it so you can do this on uh, away from all the family places so if it's home it's not going to work but if you do all this that means uh, anytime if you're doing this it's going to take a whole hour to change it so just not this is actually pretty important for the for the lo uh, lockdown mode if your phone get hacked then this is a, a good setting but this is not this is not a good setting for like a for for, for the most of the days over here for the apple uh of the apple adverts and make sure you turn that off for the app uh, privacy refer if you want you can turn this on it's just going to depend on you and then over here all these are accessories like the accessories bluetooth camera uh, uh and, and a network microphone so th this is going to be all the app that have access to your microphone and stuff so anytime if there's an app you don't like make sure you just turn that off for this you have to just do that and then it's going to be off and that's it if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like the video and, and don't forget to click the, the red subscribe button that's not last year i actually slack off and did and upload like barely so for uh, this year goal is to upload every day or, 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 or like every other day so so uh, stay tuned and then if you see my last video on the setup for, for uh, 2025 make sure you click on that video right here and peace out